bill to close Texas's dead suspect loophole is now in the governor's hands. More than a week since the regular legislative session ended, Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick finally signed a police transparency bill after it mysteriously went missing. This despite all the other bills passed by lawmakers already being sent to the governor. Now KXAN was first to report that delay and now investigator Matt Grant explains why it's raising questions about a bigger political fight happening behind the scenes. Yes, out of more than 1,240 bills passed this legislative session and sent to the governor, only one was never delivered until today, following our continued questions and push for accountability. That's a whole long story, but that will, will, that, will, that will take care of itself. It will take care of itself before you know it. Lieutenant Governor Dan Patrick officially signed House Bill 30, now sending it to the governor for final review before it can become law. Patrick's signature is both ceremonial and constitutionally required. It comes after a Senate journal clerk said the bill to end the dead suspect loophole was never delivered to the Senate to be signed. Yet records KXAN obtained showed it was delivered, and Patrick now saying it was all wrapped up in a deal with the House, passing this bill in exchange for passing one of the Senate's priorities. We passed their bill, HB 30 turned out to be, I didn't know what it was. They killed our bill when the speaker huffed out and walked down and hit the gavel. So our bill was dead. When HB 30 returned to the Senate and a stack of other bills to be signed. I said, what's that bill all about? Let me see that bill. And I stuck it on my podium, and it's been there for the last five days, and always intended to be signed. The bill was a priority for House Speaker Dade Phelan. His spokesperson isn't buying this was an administrative slight, telling KXAN it's more clear now that they lied and tried to blame us. Receiving renewed attention after the Uvalde mass shooting, the loophole has been something KXAN's investigated for years. Its widespread use has allowed Texas police to withhold evidence in closed criminal cases when the suspect dies in their custody. It's a hard thing to keep revisiting. That's what happened with 18-year-old Graham Dyer. A decade ago in August, he died after Mesquite police repeatedly tased him during an arrest. Eventually learning what happened through a federal investigation, his parents have testified in four legislative sessions in support of the measure to close the loophole, so no other family has to fight for transparency. We are excited for it and, uh, and very hopeful that, that it will be signed. The governor has not responded to our questions if he will sign the bill into law. The bill's author, Representative Joe Moody, who has tried unsuccessfully to pass it since 2017, tells us he doesn't mind waiting another week for it to reach the governor, as long as Texas families don't have to wait any longer for the answers they deserve. Back to you. And as Matt said, we've been reporting on this problem for years, so we have a link to all of our coverage in this story in the investigative section of KXAN.com. You will also find the bill's progress here as well.